Teresa's Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you back out to the shed of many names on this cold evening. Now, with it being the time of year that it is winter time, a lot of us have sinus trouble, a lot of sinus drainage, and sometimes the sinus drainage backs up. And unfortunately, it will back up into our ears and cause an ear infection. What I'm going to be showing you is one of the best all-natural ear infection drops I have ever used. And I have been making this recipe for 20 years or better. I absolutely love it. It works for me. And I used to be plagued with a lot of ear infections. Thanks to this, I rarely ever get an ear infection. In the beginning, when I was using it regularly, only when you get the ear infection or you get that weird feeling like you're fixing to get an ear infection, that's when you start using it. Now, for those who are blessed to have mullein growing around them, a lot of people know to harvest the mullein flowers and put them in oil and let them steep. Well, guess what? It's not just the flowers of the mullein, but the whole plant from the ground up. All the green plant material works wonders as well for ear infections. Also, as a tea for bronchitis, colds, pneumonia, anything to do with the lungs. <coughs> <coughs> But it does work wonders for ear infections. Now, nothing's wrong with my olive oil. We got really, really cold. And, well, olive oil solidifies when it's cold. It's just now starting to heat up again. Which is going to heat up here in a little bit. Now, you'll want to use a double boiler or a, a pot with water with a metal bowl on top or a glass bowl but you want to make sure that your water simmers you do not want your water below this mixture to boil because you want your olive oil to just be warm and let the mullein infuse in it now with that being said yes i know this pot is overkill but at the moment, this is all that I have to use because <laughs> my little double boiler is being used for something else. And I need to find some more. I really do. Now, what I have here is a cup and a half of very cold olive oil. You can use just regular olive oil. It's fine. Make sure. I usually do not use extra virgin because it does not have a long shelf life at all. So I use regular olive oil. Just read your label and make sure that it's not mixed with anything. And the only ingredients in it is olive oil like it's supposed to be. Now, the reason why I'm starting out with a cup and a half because... There's a good chance you're not going to get it all out of your measuring cup. You're not going to be able to get it all out of the herbs. So I always say a little more is better than not enough. And of course, once it's been steeped, I'm going to mix, put it back in this jar or in this measuring cup, man, what a day, so I can um, pour it into small two ounce bottles. So none of the oil will be wasted in the measuring cup. Now, these are vitamin e gel caps i don't know if you can see it sorry about the blinding if you can try to make sure that they are just vitamin e gel caps i was blessed to find some that had no soybean products in it 
so that makes me even happier now you could use the vitamin e oil but they have a lot of other things in it and soybean unfortunately but this doesn't and don't worry it will uh melt down into the oil with the mullen and you you won't know it's in there but you it helps to with the preserving as well as the healing so that was five let's see what is it 180 milligram vitamin e gel caps now this is some amazing beautiful mullen i was able to get a hold of and like I said, if you have a really good local herb store, definitely patronize them and help them out. Because during these times, it's rough for everybody. And we need to help each other out as much as possible. Now, don't worry if you see sticks and stems. Well, not sticks, but stems in your mullein. We're going to strain this very well and none of it will be in it. And I'm going to make mine a little strong. Let me look in here. And I'm going to use three tablespoons. And like I said, do not worry. It's going to be strained very well. Oh, it smells good. Now, of course... If you're allergic to mullein, for the love of God, don't use this. Don't use it if, if you know for a fact you're allergic to mullein. But to me, this is one of the best ear ache medicines there is. And anytime I can keep Big Pharma out of my life, jackpot. You want to use a chopstick or some kind of stirring utensil and get it stirred up as best you can. You're going to continue to stir it as it heats up. Let me get a paper towel. Ugh. And here I was, thought I was prepared. I, I'm going to pause you so I can take you over the stove and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I have my bottom part of my double boiler heating up. It's got just the right amount of water in it. And I'm going to set my top piece in. Now, unfortunately, my lid, I don't know what happened, but my lid got really messed up. And you're going to want to stir this every once in a while listen for your water below once it starts to once it comes to a boil cut it down to a simmer and as soon as this gets really dark dark green then i'm going to bring you back you're just going to want to keep an eye on it Make sure that your olive oil does not come to a bubble or a simmer or um, a boil. You want it to just stay good and warm. And that way you'll have uh, your vitamin E capsules will get, will become melted and the mullein will infuse into the oil. And I will bring you back here in just a little bit. Okay, my bottom part of my double boiler just come up to boil. You will know because you'll start seeing steam come up. And what you're going to want to do is cut your flame to low. And then that way, and of course make sure you have the correct amount of water in your double boiler. Because you do not want it to boil dry. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on your olive oil. This one's going to go down just a little bit more. You're going to want it on low. And that way the water still stays warm. 
and your olive oil will stay warm so it can infuse with the, the mullein. And like I said, once it turns a very dark green, then you know that it's done. See you here after a while. Okay, I have the mullein oil off of the stove. I'm letting it cool down a little bit before I I will be double straining it. I just wanted to show some if you don't know that there are several uh, techniques that you can use to help if you're having sinus trouble to relieve sinus pressure. They're simple, easy, anybody can do this. Now, yes, I'm coughing and sniffling. I am not sick, not one bit. I am cold as can be because while the, while the mullein oil was infusing, let me tell you, it got cold in here. <laughs> so that's why I'm sniffling and coughing. And plus, I'm a smoker. And yes, I'm a smoker. Don't anybody fuss at me about it. I know better. But. It's to keep everybody else alive, so I have a reason. <laughs> okay, first technique. Now, uh, you'll want to use your two fingers, your, and you're going to want to use a little bit of pressure, not to where it hurts, but to where you can feel a difference for you sinus sufferers. Take your two fingers. And you'll want to press along your eyebrows, along that ridge of your skull, down across your temples, just in front of your ears, and bring it down. And that will help open up the upper part of your sinuses. Now, you'll feel your sinuses starting to drain. Now, you want to use just enough pressure, but don't hurt yourself, and please do not bruise yourself. Just be firm. Now, the second one, you want to start right here above the, your nose. Pull down across your nose, just under your eyes. Bring it across to where your ear is. Just in front of the ear and down your throat. Now, if you wanted to, when you come down past the ear, you can use all four fingers. You'll notice a difference. Now, if you're having congestion in your ears, start with two fingers. Go just at the very tip of your ear. Bring back down along your, your ear and slowly bring it down. Oh, I felt that one. Uh, that will open up your sinuses. Now you can also start at the ridge right here at your nose and go down along your cheek and bring it down. You can also do it this way if you're really congested Use all four fingers and bring it down. That helps greatly to open up your sinuses. Now, some people think it's weird, but you can also circular massage, especially if your ears are bothering you, circular massage. Stop at the base of your ear and use all four fingers and bring it down. Because what you're trying to do is get this to drain down, <coughs> yeah, <laughs> drain down your throat. And it will open up your sinuses. Now, a lot of people will tell you when you have an ear infection, use a heating pad. Worst information anybody could do. Because with an infection, warm, moist. That's a deadly combo to cause infection to go, whew, to explode. You do not want real warm. I know it might make you feel better, 
but it's going to cause more trouble in the long run. With that being said, and all the techniques showed you, I've done the facial techniques to drain sinuses most of all my life. They work, it works wonders, and especially if you get the sinus headaches, rub that ridge, your eyebrow ridge, really good. And if you need to, take your fingers, go up from starting at the base of your eyebrows, go up and bring it down. And of course, you can always, now you don't want to use a whole lot of pressure around your temples, but you can rub your temples really good, just firm enough to where you feel it. Don't bruise yourself. Massage it really good and then bring it back down. Simple, easy, wonderful techniques to make you feel better. Now, let's get to straining the mullein oil. I have let it cool down some. You want it to still be loose. Now, these are the greatest strainers that I have. They're the filterless coffee strainers. Now, I would prefer to have two of these, but I don't. I have one of these and one of these. I'm going to put the plain, because I'm not big on the solid bottom ones. I'll just set that in the cone-shaped one. And you want to double strain it. I wouldn't use coffee filters, because that's going to keep a lot of the medicinal out of it. But you're going to want to strain it really good. Because you don't want any of the mullein plant. Let's see, can you see? Yeah. You don't want any of the mullein getting into... Like I said, let it go slow. But as you can see, it is greener than it was. Not as, I'm used to using a uh, lot more, but I'm making a smaller batch this time. But believe me, it is infused very well. Like I said, you're not going to get all the oil out of the pan, nor of the herbs. But you can try your best to get as much as you can out. And that's all that's in there. Now be careful, do not burn yourself. You do want to smush on that mullein really good. And you want to double check. Make sure you don't see any mullein leaves or anything in your oil. You can smell the mullein. I'm going to wipe 
and make sure that there's no mullet, no plant material on my stir stick. Oh, it's starting to warm up in here. Last time I checked, I think it was 24, 24 degrees outside. Let me tell you, these little old metal sheds get cold fast. Okay, I ended up with about a cup and a quarter of mullein infused oil. Now I'm going to be using two ounce dropper bottles. I don't know why I was doing that. I'm just so used to them having tincture in it. <laughs> uh, these have been, even though these are brand new bottles, I have sanitized them very well and let them dry. You have to let them completely dry because you do not want any water moisture in these bottles at all. And I'm going to use this little funnel. Could add just a little bit more oil in there because I like to make sure that I have a full bottle. Oh, I have a little too much. There we go. You want to make sure that you get your cap on very well. I think I filled that one up too much too. I'd rather have them, I'd rather make a mistake and have too much in there than not enough. Yep. eyeball where the limit is. There we go. And that's a very full bottle. I'm going to get more bottles than I expect. two ounce bottles so far.
I'm used to making bigger batches. Uh oh. Well, good grief, man. There we go. Another full bottom. <coughs> This bottle I will keep for personal use. <coughs> and like I said, those four when they when this cools down, I will label them. Because if you try to label a warm bottle, your, your label is going to peel right off. But there we go. Almost five two-ounce bottles. Simple, easy, anybody can do this. Now, dosage amounts. And what I do, definitely make sure you have a cotton ball handy. If it's you or younger person uh adult what you'll do is two to four drops in the ear that's giving you trouble now you're going to want to lay down and for anybody that's never had an ear infection and it's new to it bless you people uh, if you've never used eardrops before, do not be afraid. You're going to hear a large, like, popping, not so much popping sound, but uh, air sound. That is the oil going past your eardrum. You're fine. You're safe. You're not dying. You're fine. It's just natural. I've heard this sound so many times in my younger years. It was horrible, but what you'll do is you'll lay there, you'll want either yourself or your other half or your parents to do the drops, lay there for a while, let that oil get in there really good. And then before you set up, now make sure you rub once you once the eardrops are in, rub and make sure, not on the inside, but on the outside as you're laying flat, rub to make sure that oil is dispersed inside your ear. Now, uh, you can, this has a shelf life of up to a year. As long as you keep it in a dark, cool place. Now, if you want to, you can store it in the refrigerator. Now, sometimes cold drops in an infected ear feel a whole lot better than warm drops. But, if you don't want the cold drops, uh, take a measuring cup or a coffee cup. Uh, stick your bottle in first and... Fill it with enough water. I'm not going to drop this because I don't want the bottle getting oily. But put your bottle in the bottom of your coffee cup, measuring cup. Fill it up with just enough water. Take your bottle back out. Heat your water up in the microwave. And let your oil uh, warm up for a while. Now, if you continue to do this method, you need to store your eardrops in the refrigerator and if it's you doing the drops or a significant other doing the drops try your best to not let the dropper touch the ear at all just let them drop best thing to do is take your earlobe and you can help the person <laughs> that's doing the drops for you or yourself while you're laying flat, 
pull that earlobe out not don't do it till it hurts but just to where that opens up your ear canal and that way they can drop the eardrops in you do not want to touch anywhere on the inside of the ear because that could lead to you putting infection back into your bottle just hover it above the ear do whatever drops feel right to you and you can do the drops uh, two to four drops either two times a day or three times a day most of the time it's good to do it twice a day if your infection isn't too bad uh, but you can do it every uh, six hours and then once you've laid down long enough to where it feels like that it's gone past your eardrum and down into your ear use a cotton ball stuff that cotton ball in there really good because another thing that's hurting you is that air is getting into your ear as well i hope you find this video informative and that it encourages you as well now i do also sell my products uh but you can make it too you just have to believe in yourself just follow the video and you should do fine if you have any questions Please feel free to ask them in the comments section below. I will answer them. And for the love of God, don't delete your comment. Please. Also, um, what was I going to say? There was something else. Sorry, some timers. Um, there was something else. Now, somebody will probably ask the question and I'll answer it. But... Now, also, if you make these drops, you are adult enough to make these decisions on your own. Just make sure if you're allergic to mullen, do not use mullen. Do not at all. Don't take the risk. I, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you because that's my goal in life to help as many people learn to be as self-sufficient, to be all natural, and to have the ability to heal themselves. Everyone, take care. I look forward to seeing you in my next video, and may each and every one of you be blessed and have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.